Hey guys, Matt here with Carolina Coops, and we're still in Greensboro, North Carolina. Behind me is a coop that you may see a lot. Uh, this one was bought on, I think, uh, some website. And what I wanted to show again are what you need to know when you're shopping around for a chicken coop with these overseas chicken coops. And one of the number one deceptions they have is they, on the pictures, they make them look so big. Now, I was surprised when we showed up here. Uh, this lady, she was very embarrassed of her coop. Uh, the roof blew off. Her, the original roof blew off after a couple months. And, um, but this is actually a lot bigger than the, a lot of the cheap Chinese ones we see. But what I wanted to really capture is a couple things that you gotta pay attention to is, yes, it is a lot smaller, but one of the other things too is the, the half inch hardware cloth is not PVC coated and it is galvanized core, but it will start to rust after about, I don't know, two, three years, it'll become weak. And unfortunately you may not find out until it's too late. Um, also, too, I don't know, hopefully you can catch it on the camera, it reflects the light. It's not, it doesn't look that good versus our black hardware cloth. It absorbs the light, makes it really nice to see through it so you can see your girls. Um, also, ventilation, it just sucks on these hen houses. Absolutely horrible, they're very small. But also, the thing that I can't stress enough if you're shopping for a chicken coop, and we even get requests for our Carolina Cooper Custom Coops to put out, or I'm sorry, put in a pull out tray. Worst idea. And here's another example. If you come around here, and unless you've already had chickens, if you're new to thinking about getting chickens, you're not going to realize this. If you've already had this method, everyone, they're all the same. They hate it. And here's what you're not realizing. When you go to pull this tray out, okay? Sounds good. Okay, we're going to clean it. We're just going to pull this out and go dump it. Chicken droppings is pretty big, and it gets pretty tall, two, three inches in a couple nights. And, you know, three quarters of an inch opening. So it's the guillotine effect. You go to pull this out and you're just making a bigger mess. And the customer, I wish I could have caught this on video. She was here a little while ago explaining it to me. She used to have to team up with her husband. She would go underneath and have to push up on it because it was so bowed and warped and he would have to stand out here and pull it out. So she just absolutely hates it. Um, and also hated how small it is. Oh, and that's the other thing about these coops. You'll notice our American Coop, Carolina Coop, solid roofed run. It's very, very important. What you're not realizing is when it rains, your food's gonna get wet. It's gonna be wasted. And also, keep in mind too, you know, there's a big debate what chickens can eat, can't eat. Me, they can pretty much eat anything they want as long as it's not moldy, okay? So we don't want mold toxicity and you want the food to stay nice and dry. Also, in the summertime, if you cannot let them free range, you gotta provide them shade. So very, very important to have a solid roof run. So anyways, I kind of just wanted to run around this coop, beat it up a little bit, and hopefully teach you what to look for. If you're shopping online, pay close attention to the actual measurements. Chicken to coop ratio is the most important part about shopping around for a chicken coop. You've got to have the right size. Thanks for watching.